People in the Baden neighborhood say reckless and speeding drivers along this stretch of North Broadway is nothing new. Our Robert Townsend has more tonight from Concerned Neighbors. Robert. Michael, people who live on North Broadway and police who patrol that busy street in the city limits say speeding and car crashes have become all too common. Worried neighbors have had enough. Rosemary Ray says shortly before midnight Friday, her 42-year-old son hopped in her car, turned right onto North Broadway, and in a flash, just feet away from their home. He said he didn't see anybody, but all of a sudden he saw a speeding car coming from the south. She says the driver slammed into the back of her car. Totally demolished the back end, and the car kept going. She says it's a miracle her son survived the crash. Her crushed Cadillac is now totaled. Very upsetting. Look at that. This could have been somebody else's life. The hit and run happened just down the street from where a nine-year-old boy was pinned between two cars on Sunday. I do want him to know that we are praying for him. Rosemary says during the five years she's lived in Baden, she's watched many drivers whiz by the post-it. 35 mile an hour speed limit sign. Very upsetting because this happens every day and almost all day long. And that's why I've had these barriers put up. St. Louis police confirm speeding and crashes are a problem in this area. Crashes where people have been hurt and property damaged. Last September, a woman was killed in this multi-car crash on North Broadway. According to the Missouri State Highway Patrol's database, so far this year on the entire stretch of North Broadway in the city, there have been at least 50 traffic incidents. We're trying to see if we can get the police to just be stationary over here some mornings and evenings. Just slow down. It has to stop. Earlier tonight, North Broadway neighbors had a chance to share their concerns with Mayor Tashara Jones and Police Chief Robert Tracy during a two-hour-long community town hall. Thanks, Robert.